unleash the full towing and hauling potential on your new 22 Plus Toyota Tundra by improving the stability and reducing the squat when towing or hauling heavy loads with the Airlift Load Lifter 5000 Series Airbag Kit. This bolt-on air spring helper kit is fully adjustable from 5 to 100 psi for a precise control to provide you with up to 5000 pounds of load leveling capacity which will level out your Tundra when towing or hauling heavy loads for a safe and comfortable ride. Get your Load Lifter 5000 kit today and say goodbye to trailer sway, body roll, bouncy rough ride, and light steering and brake fill when towing. Coming in just about $520 with free shipping, this Airlift Load Lifter 5000 kit is the perfect solution for all you third gen Tundra owners that are hauling extra weights on a daily basis or towing on the weekends. This will help level out your truck and remove the sag from the rear. Now this kit will work on both four wheel drive and two wheel drive trucks and also it should be working on all you guys with your 23 plus Toyota Sequoias. And the low lifter 5000 kit is compatible with the wireless one kit from airlift so if you do not want to air these guys up manually you, are, you do have the option of using all the wireless features and all the air compressors that airlift does have to offer. As always we're going to talk about what we like about the kit and what we don't so our pros and cons. We will start with our pros and at the top of the list on the pros is the actual design itself. Now, as you guys may know, there are some airbag companies out there to where the airbags will sit inside of the spring in the rear. Those are a lot more prone to ripping. Now with this one, this guy will be completely independent to where we will be removing our OEM bump stop and throwing this guy on there. So with that being said, this is going to be a lot more durable and it should last for years to come. Continue talking about the actual design. Now these two guys will be completely independent to where we will be airing these guys up independently. The one really nice thing about that is if you do have extra weight on one side and the other, you can dial in your suspension perfectly. Also, due to the design, you are able to air this up, up to 100 PSI and down to five. What that means is that you can dial your suspension in perfectly. With additional weight, you can get a nice you know, level ride comfy ride and as we're talking about our weight that's our next pro on the list is that this will increase our load capacity to 5,000 pounds which is huge so by running these kits I should definitely remove the sag on the Toyota Tundra or your 23 plus Sequoias for the installation this is a complete no drill installation it's a complete bolt-on kit so we will not have to drill into the frame of the truck which is also a huge benefit and the actual only drilling we might have to do if we choose to is, you know, where we want to put our fittings, where we can air this up. Again, if we are using the wireless one or any other air compressor, we can do that as well. But for us, we're just going to hook this up real quick. And then this way we'll be able to fill this up at any tire station and really adjust our suspension from there. To talk about the cons, there really isn't any cons for me with this kit, especially being a bolt-on kit. The only con that we can put on here is the fact that it doesn't come with their air compressor. However, that's what keeps the cost of this kit so low. And you are able to add that, you know, for an additional fee, which we highly recommend doing. Now for the installation, I will give yourself about an hour and a half to two hours. Again, this is a complete bolt-on kit and should be able to be installed with just basic hand tools. If you guys do want to see us put this kit through the paces and test it out with different, you know, load sizes and trailer sizes, make sure to drop a comment down below. And if you guys do want to see any specific trailers that we are going to be testing this guy on, whether it's RVs, trailers, or just, you know, any additional weight, make sure to drop that down in the comments below. And we will try and get to that for you guys there on. Now, without talking too much, let's get into the install. Start by lifting the truck and supporting the frame with jack stands. Then we will remove the factory bump stops from both sides by removing the three 12 millimeter bolts, one on the side of the frame and two on the bottom. Next, remove these plastic covers on each side of the frame. You can use a small pry bar or a screwdriver to pop them off. Then we need to remove this module from the frame on the passenger side. Remove the two 12 millimeter bolts and tuck the module to the side for now. Next, we need to attach the upper frame brackets to the frame using the provide M8 button head bolts. These brackets will attach the holes of the bump stop brackets we just removed, and these large corner holes should be facing the front. In this orientation, attach the upper bracket to the frame using the provide M8 button head cap screws, which will go through the wider spaced holes and into the frame holes from where we remove the bolts from the bump stops. Before tightening the M8 screws, place the upper brace onto the bracket and move them around until frame holes are all lined up. Then go ahead and tighten the M8 screws and set the upper bracket to the side for now. Up next, remove the bolts to hold the emergency brake cables to the axle. There is going to be one on each side. 
Next, we will assemble and prepare the air springs for installation. Start by installing the air fittings into the air spring by threading it on finger tight. Then finish tightening the fitting another one and a half turns with a half inch wrench. Place a row plate on top of the air spring. Up next, take your upper spring plate and insert the two one inch carriage bolts into these two spots here. Then flip and place it on top of your air spring. The row plate should keep the carriage bolts from falling out. And now attach the plate to the spring using the two button head screws and torque it to no more than 20 foot pounds. Flip the spring over and place a row plate onto the spring. Then put the carriage bolts through the lower bracket as shown and attach the bracket assembly onto the air spring using the two 3 8 24 button head screws. For proper installation of assemblies, make sure that these tabs are on the opposite side of the air port or on the same side as the upper bracket notches. Next, we will install the air spring assemblies. To make the installation easier, we place jack stands on the frame and drop the rear diff and axle all the way down. Place the upper brace onto the bracket, then slide the air spring into place, and add two serrated nuts to the short carriage bolts and finger tighten them. Then, add the remaining carriage bolts and nuts, and torque them down to 16 foot-pounds. And add the flanged and made bolt through the upper brace into the frame, and torque to 18 foot-pounds. On the passenger side, reattach the module which we removed to the upper bracket using the removed OEM bolts and the provided M8 washer and lock nut. Remove the OEM clips from the brake lines and flip them around and reinstall. This will push the brake lines towards the axle. Next, complete the lower mounting. Slip the lower clamp bar over the long carriage bolts, install a flat washer and nylon lock nut, and tighten the nuts evenly so the clamp bar is level. Ensure that there is adequate clearance between the carriage bolts and the brake lines. Finally, we need to install the air lines. Simply cut the air line in half. Make clean square cuts with a razor blade or hose cutter. Do not use scissors or wire cutters. Then slide the air line into the airbags and route the end of the lines to the desired location on the truck and install the shredder valve. C common location include inside the fuel tank filler door, rear wheel wells, or license plate area. Also, at this point, you can connect the air lines to your air compressor. If you will be doing any towing or hauling with your third gen Tundra, this kit is going to be the perfect solution for you. Make sure to watch our Airlift Wireless One Compressor video, and for more 22 Plus Tundra parts and accessories videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.